Let's talk about the prerequisites of salah. That is, what you must do before commencing salah. There are six things that you need to keep in mind. Let's begin. The first prerequisite is ensuring that you are covered properly. For the males, this means covering from your navel, that is your belly button, to the knees. Also ensure that your shoulders are covered. For the females, this means that the entire body is covered with the exception of the face and the hands up to the wrists. The second prerequisite is ensuring that the body, the clothing and the place of prayer are free from impurities. The third prerequisite is to ensure that you are in a state of purification, such as wudu, ablution. The Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said that salah, that prayer, is not accepted without purification. The fourth prerequisite is ensuring that the time for prayer has started. Allah says, Verily, the prayer has been ordained or enjoined upon the believers at fixed times. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, indicated that the most beloved of actions to Allah is prayer at its fixed time. The fifth prerequisite is to face the Qibla, that is, the direction of the Kaaba in Mecca. This means that wherever you are in the world, you must ensure that you are facing towards Mecca. The sixth and final prerequisite applies to when you are praying alone and in an open area. That is to pray with a partition in front of you, known as the sutra. Let's begin to perform wudu. It is important that you perform the following steps of wudu in order. Step 1. Begin in the name of Allah by saying, Bismillah. Step 2. Completely wash the hands, including the wrists and between the fingers, three times. Step 3. Put water into your mouth using the right hand. Swirl it around in your mouth, then expel. Do this three times. Step four, sniff water into the nostrils as far as possible with the right hand and then blow it out using the left hand. Do this three times. Step five, washing the face from the forehead to the chin and from the left earlobe to the right earlobe making sure the whole face is washed. Do this three times. The one who has a beard should also run the wet fingers through it. Step six. Wash the right arm beginning at the fingertips, washing the entire hand and arm up to and including the elbow. Do this three times. The same is done for the left arm beginning at the fingertips washing the entire hand and arm up to and including the elbow. Do this three times. Step 7. Starting at the fringe, moving the hands to the back of the hairline and then back to the fringe all in one movement. This is done once only. Step 8. Wipe the insides of both ears with the index fingers and the back of the ears with the thumbs. This is done only once. Step 9. Wash the right foot including the ankle. Make sure between the toes are also washed using the small pinky finger. Do this three times. The same is done for the left foot, washing it up to and including the ankle, ensuring you wash between the toes using the small pinky finger. Do this three times. 
Step 10. It is preferred to seal your wudu with the declaration of faith, saying, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh. This means, I bear witness that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah, and I bear witness that Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is his slave and messenger. You may also add to this saying, Allahumma ja'alni min at-tawwabin wa ja'alni min al-mutatahirin, which means, O oh Allah, make me among those who turn in repentance to you and make me among those who purify themselves. Upon the completion of the steps of wudu, one is now ready to pray as long as they don't nullify the wudu. Actions that nullify wudu. This includes passing urine or feces, passing wind. Other things that nullify wudu include deep sleep, whereby one loses awareness, unconsciousness or intoxication, touching the private parts with the hand and fingers without a barrier, intimate relations between husband and wife. If a person forgets whether they have nullified their wudu or not, then this does not nullify their ablution, regardless of whether the person is praying or not, until they are certain that they have nullified their ablution. Don't forget that you must perform the steps of wudu in order.